Welcome to your wonderful Wednesday shave of the day. Hey, Eric here with Adventures in Wet Shaving and welcome back. It's good to see you. My one word is heart and I put my heart into everything I do. And I believe every time you shave with a straight razor, you're getting a better shave. In this shave, I am using my Fine Edge Ostiso. Yeah, this is handmade. That is solid in German steel made in New York City in 1920 yep this is all original that does have a point and it is a full hollow yep this is a really good shaving razor it is now for our soap tonight here we go we're going barbus and this is barbus classic so this is a clean citrusy scent this is their original and it is just a marvelous scent. Yep, it is very nice. Now, I have had that blooming. There you go. We're going to pour off that bloom water. Put that on as a pre-shave. Yep, and we'll get that going. Yeah, just a nice, clean, citrusy, soapy scent. I like it. Now, here we go for my brush tonight. There you go. That is the Connecticut Quarter Brush. Got a 22 millimeter Maggard Razor Synthetic Knot, and it is quite nice. That knot is sunk into that handle quite a bit, which gives it a little backbone, but it is uber soft. Now, we're just going to go ahead and get that wet, just like that. Squeeze out most of that water, and Let's go ahead and start making our lather. Yep, here we go. So, matter of fact, I'm gonna just put a little more water in there right off the bat. Yep, that I think is gonna be a good idea. There we go. So, welcome to the midweek shave, the wonderful Wednesday shave of the day, hump day. Oh yeah, always a good day because that means the weekend's right around the corner, which is nice you know i like my weekends yeah hopefully uh, you are doing some fun stuff on your weekends as well yeah we have been hiking and things like that which is always good now we're going to put some more water in that just like that let's go about like that i think that can do it but we'll find out yep just get that swirling around in there yep and there we go so hopefully you are in high spirits the world is treating you good and you're getting some good shaves yeah i hope so yep that's what we're about here good shaves so you know let us know down in the comments yep that's good. Now let's go ahead, get some of that. Kind of making a mess here, but that's all right. Just put that back in that bowl. We're gonna mash it off in there. You know, I'm not really using a whole lot of force. We're just getting it off of the walls of that bowl. Yep. And let's go ahead and put a little more water in there. All right. Yeah, that is good. Yeah, it is. Now, as we're doing this, look at that. I'm making a nice mess here. That is starting to come to life, which is good. Yep. Probably need to hold that bowl just a little more straight instead of sideways. Yep. Yeah, so we're just going to go for a while in one direction, then reverse it and go in the other direction, just like that. Oh yeah, okay. Yeah, buddy, that is starting to look really good. All right, here we go. So now this is my Crown King Travel Scuttle and that does have cold water in it as well, okay? now. Let's go ahead and 
we're going to just get some of that lather out of there just like that put that bowl down what do you think is that some good looking lather or what yeah buddy go ahead get that going and I got another new shaved shirt yep it was my birthday recently so that is good mm-hmm yeah really this has got a classic citrusy soap scent that is really like classic barbershop yeah to me anyway which I like oh yeah nice There you go. Yeah, buddy. What do you think? Pretty nice? Yeah. All right. Let's go ahead and get those hands cleaned off and get them dried off. All right. Now, this is pass one. And for me, primarily, that is going to be with the grain. Let's do this. nice now i know somewhere up in there i do have a little bump that i want to try to be careful of yep all right get that razor cleaned off there we go now we're gonna get this little spot There we go. Yeah, it's important to find those bumps. That way you don't have any little accidents. nice oh that is good yeah it is yeah a hundred year old razor shaves just fine mm-hmm
Oh yeah. That razor is doing a great job. It really is. And the Barbus is really a fine soap. And as you saw, it doesn't take a whole lot of fussing to get it to lather up nicely, which I like. Yep. There we go. Nice. Yeah, this stuff, you just can make a lather so easily. It just works well. It does. Yep. There we go. Nice. Now let's work on this side. There we go. Really working around that bump right there. Yep. Want to try to be as gentle as I can be. Now, here we go. Let's get that rinsed off. Oh, nice. That's good. Yeah, it is. <laughs> All right. Here we go. Now, let's get our lather on. Yep. Just going to mix that up just a little bit more. Like that. Oh, yeah. Nice. Hmm. Oh yeah, that is looking good. Just kind of work that in a little bit more, just like that. Look at it, that come to life. Mm-hmm. Hmm. There we go. That's good. Yes, it is. Now we're going to get those hands cleaned off. There we go. Just a little bit more going on there. Nice. All right, here we go. This is pass two. And for me, primarily, that's going to be against the grain. Let's do this.
There we go. Nice. Yep. Now, beard prep is key when you're straight razor shaving. So what I do is in the shower, I will go ahead and soap up my beard and just let it soak with soap on it for a bit. And then I'll rinse that off. And that gives the soap time to work on the oils in your hair, which is gonna be key to getting a good straight razor shave. So, if you want a good shave, you need to go, do good prep. Yeah, you do. All right. We changed hands. Mm-hmm. And this is a slick soap as well. Yeah, hopefully you can hear that razor. This one is really a nice singing razor. I enjoy that. Using short, easy strokes there, rotating that blade as I go around the chin area, trying to keep it flat. That is what's going on there. Now, we switched hands. Let's get this side. Yeah, going around that chin. Take your time. No hurry. There's no reason to hurry. So, you know, just take your time and it'll all work out. Yeah, it will. I'm finding that other bump I forgot about.
There we go. Nice. Now, switching hands again. All right, there you go, pass two complete. And it felt good, yeah it did. Now, let's get that rinsed off. See how those cheeks are doing? Oh, nice, that is good. Yeah it is. Oh yeah. Oh, good shave, good shave. Yep. All right, here we go. Let's get our lather on. Yep. Just kind of get that going a little bit more, just like that. We don't need a lot, so this will be fine. Yep. And this is actually going to be more than enough as well. Yep. I am good at making enough lather. Let me encourage you to work on your lather. Yeah, that is gonna be the best thing you could do. Work on that lather, get it going. Get it going good and find what you like when you're lathering. I like mine more like this. Yeah, I know other people like it thinner and uh, that's perfectly fine because this whole straight razor shaving thing is all about you enjoying your shave. Time for the half pass. For me, primarily, that's going to be against the grain. Let's get to it. Oh. Hit you there. <laughs> Now we're switching hands, we're gonna do this side. Nice. Yep. My elbows keep banging into stuff though. <laughs> All right. There you go. Another shave in the books. Yep. Now, let's go ahead. 
Check that out. Yeah, buddy. No bumps were harmed in the filming of the shave video. Always good. Antiques are brilliant. Oh, that's a good shave. Really is. Quite nice. Let's go ahead. We're going to dry that off just like that. We're going to put cold water on now. Clean, fresh, cold water. Just like that. Oh, and that is squeaky clean. Nice. Yep. Now, here we go. We are still going alum everywhere. This is astringent and antiseptic. It will take care of those little bumps if you get them. And it will tighten that skin and close those pores. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so I just put that everywhere. Just like that. Then I will pat that dry. You could let it dry more naturally as well. And that would be fine. Yes, it would. Now, if you can't take alum straight up, go with a cold water rinse followed by witch hazel. In my case, I'm going with the lemon witch hazel, and this is Thayer's lemon. This is lemonade for the face. It's just really good. So you can go with that, especially if you got some kind of citrusy scent. Mm, so, oh, this is so good. And I put that everywhere. I do. It's just good for the skin. Yeah, it is. And go like that. Next up, here we go. We are going Nivea Sensitive Poche Balm. Gonna get the moisture back in that skin. So, here we go again. Oh, I keep hitting you. I am just a little off, but that's all right. We had a great shave and that's good. Yes, it is. Next up, here we go. This is an old favorite. All right. This is Panad Clubman, and this is the original. Yeah, really good. And this is, again, just a wonderful scent that is barbershoppy. I like it. Oh, nice, nice, nice. Yeah, buddy. Click up here to see my latest video. Click over here to see a video specially picked out for you. Click on this one to see how to start straight razor shaving the series. Have a great shave and a good day, and I will see you next time on Adventures in Wet Shaving.